Yo, yo, it's Big Ant, man. We back. Another edition of Urban Politicians TV. Had to come tap in today, man, with a little collab. Just did did a little session with the Enough Talk Talk podcast. Yeah. Now I got to put them on my situation, introduce the people to them out here in H-Town one time, man. So uh, introduce y'all Yeah, you know, boy E.T. You know what I'm saying? I'm Juice, you know what I'm saying? Shoot, King Pat. Yeah, good. That's 1,000, man. Nah, I had ran across y'all on Instagram with the Enough Talk podcast. I don't know how um, or when or when I followed or whatever, but I do know I pay attention, you know what I'm saying? When I see people with a platform, um, I try to reach out and do a collab if, it, if, it, if it's not too far away, if a nigga can find some free time, bro, because I feel like this is something that Houston lack in this media. Yeah. yeah. We got people out here doing media, but not more so on the independent level. Exactly. I'm trying to really turn the whole city up. I feel like there's no way niggas should be coming to Houston and making one stop, you know, at the radio or that shit. Like, Thanks. niggas should want to come to Houston and be like, hey, I need to go touch in with this platform. Mm -hmm. This shit is too motherfucking big, man. No bullshit, though. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, you know, tell the people where y'all from and everything like that. Shit, A-Leaf, Club Creek, Benson Nett, Wolf Ferry, you know, yeah. race and shit. Like, born, um, Acres Home, Fofo. Okay. My mama from out there and shit, though, but you know. Shit, I'm from the club, you know what I'm saying, for real. Fuck up. You know what I'm <laughs> saying, but shit. I, I can't, I moved to A League like, like what, 07? Okay. You feel me? But other than that, I've been back and forth to South Park, you know, that's where my people from. You feel me? I'm the only outsider from the club, you feel me? Me and my little brother, you know. Yeah. But shit, that's about it, though. Yeah. Shit, A League. Yeah. Club Creek type shit. I grew up, I was born in the Third Ward. My mama moved out here, like, 95 type shit, so I've been in all my life. Yeah. 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 <laughs> so the whole, y'all basically just rep A-Leaf then? Yeah, where? Except for him. Except for, yeah, except for me. Yeah. They, they rep, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I ain't do no cheese. He a red or green orange. That's what we call it. <laughs> 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 no bullshit. Clark Leaf. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But nah, hey, man, yeah, so yeah. Uh, talk, talk about what it be like going down over here, bro. Like, for somebody who out of town who never been to A-Leaf before, Explain to them what the whole A-Leaf lifestyle is on the day-to-day. -day. Shit, man, it be, it be up and down, different shit. Like, yeah. it go down, you know, in any hood, any yeah. area, any district area type. But A-Leaf was, back then, I guess it was like suburban type. Like, the place you would want to come to to get out of the hood, or the dub, Braidswood area, all that type of shit. You know, funds and shit. They come, came over here, thought it was good, but... Each apartment, each little area got their own little action, for real. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So. For shit, so. For shit, that's, so. that's basically really anywhere, but wild. yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so you kind of like, so you from, you're not from original A-Leaf like that, but like you kind of, um, you still rep, like, kind of like, I guess, coincide with A-Leaf? Like me? Yeah. Yeah, like, I'm not from here. Like, I don't rep it, but. Yeah. I've been here for a minute, you feel me? So, like, I know what go on in A-Leaf, you feel me? Like, yeah. that's how I can put it. Yeah, gotcha. Like, I fuck with my A-Leaf people. Like, these yeah. niggas, these my brothers, you feel me? Like, yeah. these niggas from A-Leaf, I don't give a fuck. They, they say they from A-Leaf, they from A-Leaf shit. Nigga, yeah. nigga, but not yeah. say nothing disrespectful about it. Nigga. Yeah. You feel me? That's how I'm rocking, so. So, bet, man, bet. For real, though. So, now, nah, y'all uh, actually got y'all little podcast, Enough Talk. What kind of, like, got y'all started with that shit, man? What made y'all jump out there and get it going? Shit, I know me. I'm I. I used to do parties and shit. Yeah. Used to be an entertainer all that way back then. High school time, knew how to like you know did videos, all that little type of shit. Then after the party days, like after high school, say like twelve after 2012, 2013, a nigga went from trying to make it like a publishing, like a nook. You know my initials E.T. I went to making like. Everything promos tried to do like you know a little as advertise social media advertisement. That's what you could say I was yeah. trying to do, but you know how social media upgrade and shit like to where everybody feel like they can do it they self. So I ain't no begging ass niggas finna beg niggas to pay me to do this and that when they can do it they self or whatever. Mm, gotcha. You know what I'm saying? So that's when I went. I converted the ET promo shit into coming up with this concept, the podcast. You know what I'm saying? Like I. I'm into the media shit, into artists, into 
I'm versatile to a, a whole bunch of shit. Mm. And nigga love Texas though, cause you know it's a Texas podcast. Like one thing with Texas shit, we ain't got nobody mainly putting a spotlight on us. Everybody be, you know, trying to like, oh Levi, mm-hmm. Levi to make it this and that when we don't have to. Or mm. you got other niggas come here, get their content, and then they leave, they don't stay here type shit. You know what I'm saying? So it's like uh, all that little shit or whatever, that's a problem. I saw the problem, I'm trying to mm-hmm. fix that. Then shit around like 2000, the end of 2017, I was like, man, nigga gonna do a podcast, do a podcast, but I ain't know how to like start off with it or whatever. Cause you know, I'm really not, I'm really the person. In the beginning, I was in, in front of the camera, but yeah. I, that shit burnt out to where I don't like being in front of the camera. I like having the camera, making the scenery now. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I like doing that now, so shit. A lot of shit that we do, we be doing just on our free time, and I, I do that shit, was doing that shit often with my bros and this and that. We be talking about shit, topics, all that type of shit. And then, bro, like, you know, I had, I, I been spit the message to them, like, at 17, this and that. Then that's when bro came to his conclusion, like, yeah, he want to do a podcast. That's all, like, shit, nigga, let's run that shit. Then we got Juice. Funny ass nigga freestyling all of that type of shit. Yeah. Telling him, bro, come to that, you know what I'm saying? Be a part of it type shit. Like we got nothing but a, you know, we got a little bit of the time to do that shit. We always be with each other. And shit, that's when we made the shit happen. We the last day that we was really talking about it, we was really in the cars when when Nipsey died. Okay. Like the night of Nipsey died. You know, we was really serious of in the hell talking about that shit, like oh God. trying to make the move happen and shit. Yeah. So shit, that's how that shit sprouted. That we sprouted and made that shit happen. Did our first episode in October and shit. You know what? That's crazy, bro. Cause like, you know, Nipsey a big part of my shit too, bro. And I didn't even say that. And I don't really put it in interviews no more. Cause it's like, not that it matters. It's a, it's a fact. You could go back where I had several interviews before he died. Where yeah. I said he was a big part of the reason why I got started. Yeah. Just him talking that having your own shit on is something. Okay. Like don't always work for motherfuckers your whole right. life and get you something legit to own yeah. on your own, bro. It's like exactly. it makes sense, bro. Like, right. what are you working, doing street shit? The ending ain't great in a lot of them positions. Whether you got a job, you went to college, but ain't nothing like waking up when you want to wake up. Mm. Taking your own situation, yeah. you know, it ain't for everybody. Everybody ain't gonna go be no boss and yeah. and do what it takes to boss up. But I had so much respect for that whole movement, dog. So y'all can actually say y'all will say like Nipsey a big part of the ins- like making yeah. y'all say you know what fuck it, let's go with it. Now I don't want to say that he really influences. That's yeah. just a nigga remember because we yeah. was talking and smoking in the car and stuff like yeah. in the old Bella type shit. <laughs> we was talking in the car hey, and shit in the regal like. A nigga like, you know, when I guess I was I expressed what I said and then the bro had started talking, I look at my phone just a little slight glance type shit. Mm-hmm. Nigga like, man, this can't be true. Nipsey got shot, this and that. You know, a nigga glanced at it, then a nigga locked the phone. But yeah. when we got home, like when we yeah. left from the little scene we was talking, we like, damn man, this and that and that. We we yeah, would start yeah, talking yeah. about it like tough, but I don't wanna like lie and say that he influenced yeah. influence us. It's just that big that, that day timing, yeah. yeah that timing like a nigga will always remember that because that day was like a lot of shit was going on was after no niggas bullshit. found out like the world went crazy Real after the, after we found out that he really got shot and he really died and shit and how he got shot yeah so you know what i'm saying nigga will always remember that shit but rp mm. nipsey like he did have his moves and shit mm. like that shit <laughs> that nigga was for real king for real boss man yeah. so uh <laughs> With that going on, man, y'all get started in Houston, bro. What y'all say the hardest part of getting y'all shit going was? Like, I guess getting people to, to support. Because, yeah. you know, people don't believe you until they see you actually make it happen, make it happen type shit. Because we'll yeah. be talking about this and that, and, you know, other niggas be like, yeah, these niggas, all that type of shit, this and that or whatever. But once we start, like, our fifth video, mm. Fifth episode, fifth sit down with whoever and interview, mm-hmm. niggas start like, oh, okay, yeah. yo, man, this yeah. y'all niggas really doing this. But really, the hardest part is just the support. Like, yeah. to get you it. know what I'm saying? Exactly. Yeah, yeah nigga, the fifth. Y'all did, y'all was on y'all shit on y'all fifth one, nigga. Y'all better than me. I think I had to do like 15 to 20 of them hoes yeah. for a motherfucker. But you know, we started. Sh- we still Taking the nigga on some like, okay, this nigga serious with it. Yeah, but it's I, I'm trying to say like local wise, yeah. like the A leap, cause like how we 
the intro A Leaf to Houston yeah. to Texas. Yeah. When we say Texas shit, we saying all the cities we gonna support, put a spotlight on. Sure. When we say Houston, you know what I'm saying? That's where we from, you know what I'm saying? So our home we gonna put a spotlight on yeah. and our district area is where we from and shit. That's why I say A Leaf and shit or whatever type. But just the A Leaf just to get A Leaf support. It's still we yeah. still Working on it or whatever, but some of them niggas start reaching out like our filth and all yeah. that type shit. Yeah, Instead of sure. us begging niggas and you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Mm. But it's still a process that we still in like our third quarter. We don't know. Yeah. Working on our third quarter. For Making sure. it happen. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Just, it's a process. It's a sure. process, but niggas gonna see later though.